What's up Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video I'm going to be sharing my Arms Day recommendations for today. A lot of you are uh, sort of holding off on picking your roles and waiting for some feedback from folks to see which one you should commit to. So I've got some recommendations here for two weapons in particular and instead of just asking you to trust me I went ahead and maxed them both out and used them extensively, captured a lot of gameplay, so that you have some good gameplay to substantiate my opinions here. So first and foremost, this shotgun here, the Strongbow D. What a great shotgun. And this role that you have, if you have a, a Gunsmith Rank 3, is great. Field Choke, Close and or Personal, which is one of my favorite skills for a shotgun. I'll talk about it in the video. Also comes with Range Finder, which is a no-brainer. One of the best skills to have on a shoddy. In the last tree, you have a couple different options. I roll with flared magwell over hand loaded, which most people take hand loaded. It's not really that big of a range difference, and you already have range finder and field choke. So I want faster reload. So these two guns that I'm going to recommend, they work in tandem with each other really, really well as a loadout in Rumble. That's how I'm using it. And you see right there getting the extra melee damage after a hit with close and or personal. Next you have the Tenela uh, Scout Rifle from Amalon, one of my favorite legendaries in the game right now. Comes with Rescue Mag, which is a phenomenal perk for Rumble. Single Point Sling is also fantastic. Army of One works to sort of give you some extra melee and grenade energy, which is obviously a good thing. So I'm using these things in tandem with some of the skills in the Warlock uh, skill tree in the Stormcaller subclass and they're really working in tandem uh, extremely well. I came into this match and uh, I, I spawned in late. The first place guy had 800 points, so, you know, he's like a third of the way to winning the match. I ended up coming back and uh, winning the game, going on a pretty substantial kill streak and using these two weapons in tandem with one another. They really do feed off of each other really well between the perks that they offer. And I'm going to show you here in this clip, you'll see Rescue Mag and uh, why it's effective, especially in Rumble. See, I'm going to slow it down, and if you watch, it gives me six additional bullets. I go ahead and queue up the reload out of, um, just out of habit, but it still gives me six extra bullets straight into the magazine, which is, you know, fantastic. And in Rumble, that's a nice perk to have because your engagements often overlap, and that's really where that perk is going to shine. So first and foremost, Rescue Mag, great for Rumble. Now, in addition to that, you have this, uh, the Strongbow, and with close and or personal, you can instantly follow up your shotgun blast with a melee. It's going to do additional damage, which is great. You see, I'm using that uh, back to back here. And that perk really is like a lifesaver clutch moment uh, perk to have, because you have these instances a lot of times where you have your shotgun out, you don't have enough time to switch to your primary and get the kill, someone's maybe too close to you, you've already taken damage, and this perk, what it's going to do for you is allow you to pull the trigger on your shotgun a little bit early when you're still outside of the, uh, you know, really effective range of it, and you can do sort of limited damage, maybe just, you know, 70 or 80 damage with it in total, not even take out their shield, and then follow it up with the melee as you continue, you know, after you pull the trigger to get closer to the, the, the target. And especially with a Warlock, this works out really well because you have that extended melee range. And uh, on my Warlock, with these two weapons in Rumble, I'm using the perk that gives me extra range on my melee. I'm also using the perk that helps uh, when I get a melee kill to recharge my grenade energy, and when I get a grenade kill to recharge my melee energy. So they charge each other. And I'm also uh, using Army of One here on this Amalon. That's why I really like Army of One. It's going to charge those two things too. So basically my abilities are going to be cooled down faster with the way that these weapons work with each other and work with my subclass, which is great in Rumble. A lot of times you need those abilities for clutch kills, so they're going to get charged faster. And on top of that, they're going to be more effective because of the way that these weapons are, uh, you know, spec. So my melee is going to be more effective because of close and or personal. So this is really how these things work together. A lot of people, they just discount skills that, and perks that they see on weapons. But what you have to do is start thinking about how those perks might work well in a specific context, in this case, Rumble. How those skills might interact with one another from weapon to weapon, like the uh, this Amalon and the shotgun combined. And also how those perks on those weapons are going to interact well with the perks in your skill tree on your subclass. 
So all these things sort of work together, and if you're mindful of them, and especially with uh, weapons and perks like this, where most of these are passive, you don't even have to intentionally be thinking about it. It's just stuff that you naturally do is going to be more effective now. And that's really why I like these two weapons with these specific roles. You know, a lot of people, I, I just tweeted out this morning, you know, I re really recommend this role on the Amelon and this role on the shotgun. And some guys were like, are you serious? Those are some pretty crap roles. <laughs> I highly disagree. You think about how they can work together, and that's really what's going to separate the average uh, Crucible player from the strategic Crucible player. So those are my recommendations, guys. Feel free to pick them up and let me know how these work for you. I'll close out this video with a nice kill streak using these weapons together. And you'll see using lots of my vertical space, because that's uh, you know one of the things I constantly remind you of, especially if you're a shotgunner. You know I'm not... I'm not really a shotgunner. I'm a, I'm a sniper. <laughs> I feel pretty naked without a sniper rifle, but using a scout rifle in my primary slot does help me feel a little bit more comfortable at range when I'm not using a, a sniper. And sometimes there are shotguns that just have enough character, enough an intrigue, enough appeal to make me want to pull them out, go into rumble, and, and have some fun. So hopefully this has been helpful, guys. Let me know what rolls you went with and if you're happy with them, and we'll catch you in the crucible.